What's happening guys, Sam Adams here, and Twitch has done a lot of changing over the course of the past week alone. However, we now have a brand new mobile app. What's happening guys, Sam Adams here and welcome to On The Topic Of, and today we are going to be talking about the brand new mobile Twitch app that is coming to iOS and Android over the course of the next two weeks. Now as I make this video, I have already updated the app on both my iPad and my Samsung Galaxy S7, so if that is any kind of relation to any kind of device you guys have, then you might want to see if you are available to have the update. So what exactly does the update entail? Overwhelmingly, it's just a complete and total overhaul of the entire app, which pretty much divides everything you will need into three categories, which are live, pulse, and browse. Underneath live, we have three little banners that include channels, friends, and whispers. Now channels is exactly what you would expect it to be. It's pretty much the home of all the channels that you have followed or subscribed to, and whenever they're live, you can choose to watch whatever they are broadcasting. Then moving on to the friends, this is pretty much that social side of the app where you can add friends and it shows what they are doing. I have a good many friends and it's really great for making connections within Twitch itself if you do want to collaborate at some point or play a game together. And then you have Whispers, which is pretty much Twitch messages, which is a fantastic thing to have included into the app because no one's using the Twitch messenger, unfortunately. Love you guys, it's just not happening. Underneath the Pulse section, you will find what I consider to be the best iteration of the Pulse social network that Twitch introduced back in 2016, which is a fantastic way for streamers to stay connected to their audiences on Twitch alone if they choose not to follow those streamers on Twitter or Facebook. Facebook or any other kind of social network. At the moment, Pulse is still pretty much your home for all of your popular clips from your favorite streamers, and of course that is tailored to your experience. Whatever streamers you follow, those are the clips that will probably show up. But I do hope to see this used more over the course of the next couple of months because this is a fantastic way for a streamer to engage with their community. In fact, I would say the best way they can possibly do that directly within the Twitch app that isn't directly through a live stream itself. And finally, we have the browse section, which is pretty Pretty much consisting of games and popular banners and I must say this is the biggest section of the app that does need a little bit of work. Games is the section that needs the most work here if we're being honest because it is literally the entire Twitch directory laid out in a scrollable list and in theory this sounds okay because you might discover a new game you might be interested in and therefore discover a new streamer and then follow a new streamer and then leap to a subscription and I can see where they are going with this uh, but in practice it's just the Twitch directory laid out and to be honest with you no one is going to scroll through more than 10 or 20 games before they get bored and move on to their favorite streamer that may be online at that particular time. The popular tab is a good bit better because this shows popular streamers that are live right now that are similar to streams that you have watched in the past. So this is a fantastic way to discover more people that you might be interested in. And I would assume that this is tailored to everybody's individual experience. So if you're really into League, then you might be able to discover a slightly smaller streamer than you're used to, but somebody that does produce content that is similar to what you are used to and accustomed to. So like I said, the game section of this does need a good bit of work, but the popular tab is on the right path, and I'm sure that the engineers over at Twitch are hard at work making this app as good as they can possibly make it. And lastly, we have the two highlights of this update that people have been looking forward to for a very long time, the first of which is live streaming to your channel directly through the Twitch mobile app. So this completely kills off the need for third-party apps that you might have seen on Apple or Android devices that allowed you to stream directly to Twitch. This is just that, built directly into Twitch, and obviously when something is built directly into the Twitch app, it is going to function a lot better than a third-party source. A quick word of warning here, if you are an established streamer with a pretty good following, I would say at least 100 people that watch you on a regular basis, this is a fantastic opportunity for you to really engage with your audience on a level that you would not be able to otherwise, except through those third party apps, but of course, like we said, this is a way better experience. Uh, with that being taken into account, I cannot say strongly enough, if you do not have a following, and you think you are going to become the next big IRL streamer, really consider how entertaining your life is before you go live, because there is going to be such an oversaturation of IRL content now, since this is being introduced to the mobile app, that if you are just sitting in your room talking to your phone, it may not be the best for your public image. With that being said, fantastic for people that want to go to conventions, that may be doing some kind of meetup, that may be just wanting to have a little powwow with their audience and really just talk and lay things out on the line, this is a fantastic addition 
to what the Twitch app can do, and I'm glad to see it finally coming after it was said it was coming earlier in the year, which I suppose if you're talking about that, we still technically are in the first half of the year, so Twitch guys, I'll let you slide on that one. And to wrap it up, my favorite new feature overall is the fact that there is now a dark mode. Thank you, I've been asking for this for so long. Uh, but for those that are not familiar with the app, before this update, the chat box was a burning bright white light with some thin dark text on it. Now, after the app, whenever you're up at like one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning watching a live stream, the background is a nice soothing dark with some white text. It is much more soothing for the eyes, much more acceptable in low lighting conditions, which if you are like me, I tend to watch all of my streams streams whenever it is dark in my room and outside. So those are all the big changes as far as functionality goes. There is a big playlist feature which pretty much is a new way to scroll through all the followed streams that you have and I consider that to be something you just have to kind of get hands on time with the app with and get used to which I definitely recommend you do especially if you are available for that update right after watching this video. However one last big change is to language restriction. Now before if you just wanted to see streams that were say in English then you could do that and you'd only see streams that weren't English. However, with this new change, if there is a stream that is incredibly popular in your specific region, there is a higher likelihood that you will see that anyway, so just keep an eye out and get used to that over the course of the next couple of weeks. And so, those are the changes with the Twitch mobile app for 2017 so far. If you enjoyed this video, drop me a like down below and leave a comment letting me know what you think about Twitch's changes. Are they positive? Are they negative? What would you change? What would you have made the same? Let me know in the comment section down below, and if you happen to be new to my channel. I do upload new stuff throughout the week, so there's always something new right here on the channel when you do drop out to watch some videos. But as for right now, I'm going to go watch some more streams on my iPad Pro with this beautiful dark background on my chat box instead of the burning white light. I will talk to you soon. Peace.